A A O As you can see, the I in AI reviews is not here. Unfortunately, scheduling conflicts, right? Man, life happens, right? Crazy. Anywho, let's get right into this review. I just got back from watching The Commuter. Pretty good film. Liam Nielsen's though. Liam Nielsen's though. But Liam Nielsen's though. Another good, another good movie. I liked it. Um, basically, in this one, he's a businessman. Uh, he is a commuter. He's been riding the same train, the same commuter train, for 10 years. 10, can you believe that? 10 years, same train, Monday through Friday, every single day, never misses a day. Now, this is done, actually, in the beginning of the film uh, in, in quite a very um, interesting way. Uh, I won't completely spoil it, but they do kind of go over uh, in a this and you are presented with what he does and you then kind of see his life everything is kind of uh you know normal life uh very busy uh everything is money 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 his son's getting older they have to pay for college and he kind of seems to be in a financial bind so to speak just briefly summarizing i don't want to give it away there's going to be a spoilers after this so he's on the train he sits down and what would you do if you were in this position? You're down on your luck, you definitely need some cash, and a woman tells you, all you have to do is do one little thing, point someone out, and you'll get $100,000. You don't know what the consequences are from you pointing that out, but that's all you have to do. No questions asked, point someone out specifically that doesn't belong on the train. That's what the premise of the trailer is, right? Would you do it? Would I do it? I don't know. Well, the movie goes on, and we come to find out whether or not Mr. Liam Nelson's is going to do it or not, right? Clearly, from the action that you see in some of the trailers, it's very clear that he accepts this offer. Plot twist ensue, more action heightens, right? And that kind of is the movie in a nutshell. There's a lot more that goes on. There's some suspense, actually, in some of the ways they uh, uh, kind of unfold the action right before you. So it's not 100% predictable. I would definitely say that there are a few parts I was like, hmm, I think this might happen. It kind of happened that way, but I wasn't 100% sure how it was going to unfold. So that was kind of um, good in my personal opinion. Flat out. Should you watch this in a theater? I'll say yes if you are a Liam Nielsen's fan. If you typically watch his films in a theater, I would definitely say you will not be disappointed by this one. Uh, if you're the type of person who normally misses Liam Nielsen films and you're like, eh, I'll just watch that at home sometime. I don't need to see that in a theater. I would say go ahead and stick with that. Um, there's not too much in the box office right now, especially if you've seen any of the big blockbusters that dropped at the end of last year. So I would say there's this one. And now I would have to go into my reviews as far as overall rating. Three star easily. Um, it's nothing epic enough to raise it up to a four star. So three stars easily. Um, and now this is where I'm going to get into spoilers. So if you don't want to hear any spoilers about the film, go ahead and right here, right here, go ahead and stop it, leave some comments, but now I'm on the spoilers. -na 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 -na. Spoilers. Okay. So basically Neil, Liam Nelson is an ins a life insurance salesman of all things. Kind of ironic considering the previous roles that he's played. Um, so he's a life insurance salesman. He gets fired. Um, he then does want to tell his wife, typical scenario where he's like not sure he wants to say anything about home. He goes on to this train. The woman gives him a proposition of point somebody out who doesn't belong on the train. You'll find a bag um, by the second bath or se second carriage bathroom, $25,000. Find it. If you accept, take the money. If you don't, 
leave it, right? He looks at it, takes the money, okay? So he immediately gets sucked in, and he's an ex-cop, mind you. He uh, was an ex-cop 10 years ago for seven years. Um, they divulged this um, kind of early on. He has a nose for this, right? The lady even tells him, oh, well, you're an ex-cop. It'll be easy for you to figure it out. So he goes down this rabbit hole, so to speak, of these clues, and he's trying to figure out who this person is. And every time he tries to not do what she told him to do, somebody dies. Unknowingly to him, of course, right? He doesn't think that there's other people involved. He just knows it's just one lady, and that's all he has to try to do is get past this and maybe get some help from the police. Wrong. Wrong. This man gets three other people killed. Now, the premise, I think, if he had just, just done what she asked, obviously there wouldn't be a movie, right? But in the grand scheme of things, if he just did what she asked, which was just identify someone, put a GPS tracker on him, and that would be the end of it, he wouldn't have to do anything else, right? Then he'd get the $100,000. If it was me, I probably would have went that route, to be perfectly honest, because there's a lot of other innocent people that got killed and he was trying to avoid an innocent person getting killed. So, but that wouldn't have made for a decent action film, right? It's still an enjoyable film. Um, there's interesting twist into who does what. His ex-partner uh, from the force, possible um, Sar the old sergeant, is now a captain, higher ranking official. And the lady on the other end keeps saying that there's higher powers that be, higher powers that be, you know, there's people who are powerful individuals uh, want to see this person dead. You have to make this happen, yada, yada, yada. This escalates uh, even more so after some other people, kind of minor characters that he used to see on the train all the time, kind of get killed because he's not paying attention to her and he's, she keeps warning him like, hey, the more people you keep telling about this, the more people are going to get injured. So he finally starts to heed her warning. Uh, it escalates all the way to the point of where he has pinned down who he believes is actually the person he's supposed to find and tag with his GPS. Well, in the midst of everything, um, he, he ends up having to um, kill the person. And from there, and from there, basically, right? Superman sound. No, it's not what really happened, but kind of is what happens. He steps into action, right? He calls forth his his old school roots of a, of a, I gotta do the right thing. So now he's not even really concerned with his family. He puts, he puts the safety of this uh, witness ahead of them. And he's like, you know what? I can't let this person die. I can't let this happen on my watch. Even though he's not a cop anymore, he still can't let go of his old roots, his old instincts. So then basically from there it escalates even more and they're like, fine, you know what? If you don't want to kill her, we killing everybody. Everyone on this train dying. Everybody. And Liam Nelson's like, oh, snaps. Right? He's like, uh, stop the train. Stop the train right now. And then they're like, oh, he's trying to hijack the train. So all of a sudden the, the story gets twisted, right? And the cops, media, everyone thinks that he's trying to hijack the, um, the train, basically, and take hostages. So, but the... Uh, rail guy, the railman, the train train guy, he um, pulls the brake. The brake blows. Um, they can't stop. It turn, all of a sudden becomes a runaway tra runaway train. Um, kind of like I think the movie Nonstop that he was in as well. So, but anyways, uh, it's running away. It's going as like over seventy miles, and they have to figure out a way to try to um, save everybody. Right. So they end up everyone get into the end cart. They release that. And right at the very end, um, the, of course, the Realman guy dies, unfortunately. But he does crack a joke. He cracks a joke. He's like, at between the people and the train, I always knew it was going to be the train that got me. And then he jumps over, does a heroic thing, gets it loose. Uh, they kind of crash. And it culminates with them trapped. Uh, kind of, well, not really trapped. They could get out if they wanted to. But Liam Nelson tells everybody, hey, stay on here and don't leave cover up the window so no one can see us we don't know who's out there trying to kill us and the witness basically divulges everything and 
from there, everyone knows, oh, man, so we got to try to help Liam Nelson's, right? Because everyone thinks he um, took that train hostage, that he orchestrated all this craziness, all this crazy making. Um, it kind of ends not exactly how you would think. I will definitely say it feels like they could have easily set this up for a sequel. Um, I wouldn't mind a sequel as long as it makes sense and it's at least on par with this film. I know critics are like, this movie is... And to be honest with you, it is kind of a yeah movie. It it is good. It's not a bad film. It's just kind of a normal run of the mill uh, action uh, movie for Liam Nelson's. But like I said earlier, three star for sure. Uh, definitely check it out if you uh, are a Liam Nelson fan. If not, go ahead and you can sleep on this one. So that's been another AI review. And comment, like, subscribe. Share it out with your friends. Thank you for all the support we've been getting. Uh, we finally got one of our videos over a thousand. We appreciate you very much for all your support and love. And yeah, keep it coming, everybody. Keep the love coming. And we're out.